Hi, Gary Leland here, your host for Fast Pitch TV Show. Welcome to the show. Tonight we have a great interview with Natasha Wiley from the U.S. Olympic team, two-time gold medal winner and a one-time silver medal winner. How about that? People just think about them losing the Olympics, but they got the silver medal. I don't consider that a loss by any means at all. Okay, so she's on the show tonight. Also, a few months ago, we had her on the Softball Podcast uh, audio interview with you. If with her, if you haven't heard that, you may want to go to softballpodcasts.com and you can listen to her interview there. But tonight we're going to have her on the TV show. Great interview. Uh, same the same questions, but we'll hear her take on the questions. Before I let you go to the interview, I want to tell you about another new website we just created, which I think may be one of our best ones yet. It's called Fast Pitch Web Scouting. And the address is www.fastpitch.ws. That's WS, like web scouting. I <laughs> had to think for a second. This website, I think, is really going to change a lot of stuff when it comes to college coaches scouting for players. Okay? What we're doing is we're taking the top videos, not the top videos, we're taking videos from YouTube of uh, people's skill videos of softball player skill videos and we're putting them on this website so that when college coaches want to find skill videos of prospective players they want to scout these players they just go to a website which is fastpitch.ws and that's all that's there where on youtube there are millions of videos and they're scattered in there you might see one video about uh, when you search for softball videos you see one that's a, a drills video one that's an olympic video one that's a uh, a video with porn on it. I mean, they're just filled with different kinds. you got to look through a hundred videos on YouTube under the softball category to find one skills video. So what we've done is we've taken them all so softball coaches can come and look at nothing but skill videos. So if you're a coach, take a look at this website. I'm telling you, www.fastpitch.ws. If you're a player, think about having your video put on there for college coaches to find, okay? Take a look at this site. Now that I've given you a plug for our new uh, newest website, I guess, I'll let you enjoy the interview. Thanks for watching. Why should a team sign up for a PFX event? They should sign up for a PFX event because you're going to get the best of both worlds. You're going to get the highest quality of competition. You're going to get to play against your age group, the highest competition in your age group, and you're going to get to watch the highest athletes in the game, I think, at this point in time with some national team members, ex-college players. Um, so I think you're going to get best of both worlds and also get the hands-on uh, feel with the pros and get the chance to meet us and kind of pick our brains and see, you know, how our experience is what we're uh, growing up. I use 12 um, in the three-fourths glove. I use, uh, I have a pretty, fairly big hand usually. I encourage girls to go, try to go as small as they can, uh, but my hands are fairly big, so I have a 12 and three-fourths glove. Um, I use a slow pitch bat, and that's a 34 26. Um, it's kind of balanced. I'm a slapper, so I like to have a little bit of pop, but I like to have be balanced so that I'm able to have good back control. My favorite practice drill? Um, it's not really drill, but just taking lots and lots and lots of ground balls. I've kind of over the years kind of grown to love ground balls. Used to hate them before, but now it's one of my favorite things. My number one tip for a college uh, for a player trying to get a college scholarship scholarship would probably be uh, just to keep working hard. I think it's not what you do on the field. I think it's how you carry yourself off the field. What what attracts college coaches to great players. I mean, talent is throughout. There's always talented players, but I think it's the ones that have the good attitude, the good work ethic, and the ones that are willing to work do anything for a college program. I think Um, I think my advice for a coach that's starting out with a youth team is just make sure to keep it fun because I think that's what kind of gets you, uh, that what's your appetite when you're younger. It's just if it's something that's fun and that keeps you wanting to learn more and, you know, just keep it fun. Don't try to drill them too hard at the beginning, you know, just keep it basic, keep it fun. Teaching the, the core fundamentals I think are the most important because sometimes that gets lost as you get older.
a bag of tea. I think the, a tea is great. I, I may not be the best person or the person that works off the tea the most because of slapping and stuff. I like to see live pitching. I like to see front toss, you know, working on my back control. But working off the tee is, is great for doing lots of drills and making sure that, you know, if you don't, you're not able to get a, a circle or get something for your front toss, I think it's the best thing to do. I think the biggest thing is probably throwing fundamentals. I think that was something that I, I didn't really have growing up and, and now you know, going through the system and kind of learning how to throw, I, you know, that's the thing I encourage because I don't want someone else to have to go through what I went through. Just the proper throwing mechanics and, and fielding mechanics, I think those are something that people take for granted and, and they kind of get lost because, I mean, if you can pretty much get the ball there, who cares how you look, but if you have the proper throwing mechanics, you're going to save yourself and prevent injury and, and things like that. How do I break in a new glove? I just usually will... I have a, a, my best friend. Luckily, is a, is a catcher, so try she catches <laughs> on the national team. So I usually just hand my glove over to her and just while she's catching the pitchers, have her work it in, and then just in practice, just keep drilling in it. Well, I have like a little like routine that I do. Um, I just try to just kind of keep my mind blank, try not to think about anything. I mean, depending on the situation, you know, I I want to obviously prepared for the situation, but I try not to like think too much of that what the pitcher's going to throw and just kind of see it and hit it. Keep it simple. My favorite softball player of all time would probably have to be Lisa Fernandez. I mean, I think I looked up through, looked up to her, you know, prior to having to be, being her teammate. I think I've looked up to her growing up, and so just having the chance now to play with her has been an experience, and just also playing underneath her at UCLA. Yes, I do. I have Mizuno, the main sponsor.